Welcome to our virtual Stations of the Cross. In this time when we are exiled from our church due to the COVID-19 viral outbreak, Trinity presents this service as a support for your home devotions. First, a little background. This is the way ancient pilgrims walked when visiting the Holy Land, and upon returning home they told others. Many, however, could not ever visit the Holy Land, so that in order to share this holy experience, pilgrims began to use artistic ways to recall these events at a distance. In time, the Stations of the Cross were placed on the walls of churches, and specific prayers of devotion were used to travel around the church. On each of my three pilgrimages to the Holy Land, our group walked the Stations through the heart of the old city of Jerusalem, beginning at the bottom of a hill on the east side of town. We heard the account of Jesus' trial and sentence, then walking steadily uphill along the worn, cobbled steps, we stopped at each lo location mentioned to hear once again the words of scripture, to pray and to remember the walk of shame and suffering of our Lord's passion. We ended in the great cathedral of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, stoop low through the doorway into the tomb, an ancient cave, where the broken body of our Lord lay for three days before his glorious resurrection. On my second trip to the Holy Land, the tomb was closed to pilgrims because of major repairs taking place. But a priest who was setting up for the morning service noticed me standing outside and pointing to the inner chamber pointing it out to my son. He said, would you like to see? Stunned by his offer, I quickly drew my son and entered the inner chamber to kneel and say a quick prayer. But as I exited the inner chamber into the anteroom, I bumped my head on the rock, the last vestige of the cave opening. The priest concerned asked if I was okay and then laid his hand on my head and said, to remember. So today, I invite you to, in the midst of a blow to the face in our lives, to remember and travel along with me along the way of the cross. A few directions. There are short, short responses at the beginning and at the end of each station. You will catch on easily as you follow. The first response goes like this. I will say, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. And you will respond, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then there is a reading from scripture, a short meditation, and a prayer. At the end, we will say together the ancient prayer, the Trisagion, which goes, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. Once again, you will feel the rhythm as we move through the opening and closing prayers in the 14 stations. And now, 
I invite you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to walk with me as we journey along the stations of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts, whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes and the whole council held a consultation, and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him, saying, He deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption. Give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of a God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Let us pray. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your day of mourning shall be ended. Let us pray. O God, who willed that in the passion of your Son, a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, mercifully grant that your Church, having shared with her in this passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us.